Understand the Bayes method of division. In Vedic maths, it is explained that through the Bayes method, we can easily learn to divide any number by any number. So the first example that we have taken, we have to divide 23 by 9. According to the Bayes method, we will first have to minus 9 from its base. The base of 9 is 10. So if we do 10 minus 9, we will get 1. Because we have to divide 23 by a single digit number, so from the right hand side of 23, we will give a little gap after one number, i.e. After 3. And we will divide this number into two parts. On one side is 2 and on the other side is 3. Now we will note 2 as it is below. This is our quotient. Now what we will do, we will multiply 2 by the given complement. 2 into 1 will be 2. Write it below 3 like this. Now we will add 2 and 3 together. 3 plus 2 is 5. And this is your remainder in front of you. So did you see how easily you got the sum of this division according to Vedic maths? Let's take another example and understand this method better. Now we have to divide 123 by 9. The base of 9 is 10. So if we do 10 minus 9, we will get 1. We have taken 123. We have to divide 123 by a single digit number, i.e. 9. So from the right hand side of 123, we will give a little gap after one number, i.e. after 3. And we will divide this number into two parts. On one side is 12 and on the other side is 3. Now we will note the first digit of this number, which is 1, as it is. Now we will multiply 1 by the given complement. So 1 into 1 is 1. Write 1 below 2 like this. Now we have to do 2 plus 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. Write 3 like this. And this 13 is your quotient. But to get the remainder, you have to multiply 3 by the given complement. So 3 into 1 is 3. Write 3 below 3 like this. Now we will do 3 plus 3, which is 6. This is your remainder. 13 is the quotient and 6 is the remainder. So you saw how you solved this division sum according to Vedic maths without reading the table of 9. Let's take another example. Now we have taken a 4-digit number, which has to be divided by 97, which is a 2-digit number. To solve such a question, you have to subtract 97 from its base and get its complement. The base of 97 is 100. If you subtract 97 from 100, you will get 0, 03. Why did we give a gap of two numbers here? Because we have to divide it by a two digit number. Now we will note the first digit of this number, which is 2, as it is. Now we will multiply 2 by the given complement. If we do 2 into 0, 3, we will get 0, 6. Write 0, 6 like this. Below 1 is 0 and below 2 is 6. Write it like this. If we add 2 and 6, we will get 8. But before that, we will multiply 1 and 0, 3. If we multiply 1 and 0, 3, we will get 0, 3. Write it like this below 22. Now if we add 2 and 6, we will get 8. If we add 2 and 3, we will get 5. So your remainder will be 85. Now we have to divide a 3-digit number 112 by 79. First of all, let's see the base of 79. The base of 79 will be 100. We will minus 79 from it. If we minus, we will get 21. We have to divide 112 by 79. 79 is a two-digit number. So leave two digits from the right-hand side of 112. After the gap, write this number in two parts. There is no other number with it. So now we will go to its remainder. 
Multiply 1 by 21. 21 into 1 will be 21. Write 21 below the other part like this. Now add these two numbers 12 and 21. 12 plus 21 is 33, which is your remainder. So 1 is your quotient and 33 is your remainder. So you saw how quickly and easily we got this difficult number according to Vedic maths.